everyone, my name is Azatru and welcome to another Titanfall 2 video of mine. So this is going to be a news video because Respawn have announced all of the Titans that will be in Titanfall 2's multiplayer. We have had chance to play as Scorch and Ion in the tech test and we knew what Ronin was capable of from EA Play's trailer, but we did not know what the other three were capable of as well and who they actually were because each Titan has a personality. In this video I'll be sharing with you the once secret information on who they are and what they can do. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, make sure you do so you'll never miss another Titanfall 2 news video. So the three new Titans are called North Star, Legion and Tone. All of these Titans have some gameplay, so when I'm going to be talking about them, I'm actually going to be showing them in action because a new trailer was revealed yesterday which was pretty cool. Firstly, I will talk about North Star. According to the Titanfall site, this Titan is about precision. North Star is a female who is actually able to hide easily in cover and come out very quickly. The primary weapon is a plasma railgun, but if you zoom in, it becomes a sniper railgun that charges up. As for the abilities, a few have been announced. Ordnance is a cluster missile, which of course creates various explosions on impact. The tactical is a VTOL hover, which you can see in the gameplay right now. I think this is really cool and is very different from what we are used to seeing in Titanfall. The defensive ability is Tether Trap and this is a mine that can actually lock down Titans that are in a nearby location. And the core ability uses the hover ability mixed with several rocket fires so you can actually rain down rockets on enemies below whilst hovering above which is pretty cool. Moving on to Legion, this is a defensive Titan and it's also all about guns. Even though it takes a while to spin up, the Predator Cannon Minigun is a powerful primary weapon. Its ordnance is a power shot which knocks back enemies and offers long range damage. If you are fighting at close range but also need to do damage at long range on the fly, use the tactical called Mode Switch. It actually switches the rounds based on the mode. Want a shield on your gun? Well, its defensive ability Finally, the core ability is called Smart Core. The Predator minigun will lock onto anything when this is active. Prefer explosives? Tone is your Titan. She can lock on effectively and kill them with the 40mm tracker cannon that she possesses. It also shoots semi-automatic explosive rounds and it does also require a lock on so that's the only real drawback. The Particle Wall is back and this is her defensive ability. Tracker rockets need a full lock on but they are a deadly ordnance ability and the tactical is sonar lock. This will show enemies on your hood and this is a partial lock on so it makes shooting at them more easy. Now the core ability is salvo core. When tone looks at enemies directly it will be prioritised as targets for guided rockets. So that's all for the titans in Titanfall 2. There's six different ones which you'll be able to customise their kits and abilities. If you would want to see more gameplay then let me know in the comment section below because I really really hope they release a full gameplay video for each Titan because they actually look really really more interesting more so than the current ones we know of Ion and Scorch Wall. Well I mean Ronin looks pretty cool as well. Not gonna lie that sword is going to be one of my most used weapons in Titanfall. Now use the comment section below like I said to discuss anything I've talked about in this video. If you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like and if you missed any of the two previous videos on screen be sure to check them out and I shall see you all in my next Titanfall 2 video. Goodbye.